taking your audience questions, david at davidpackman.com. Lewis, if Apple came out with an iPod so small that it was implanted in your body, would you get that? No. Why not? I just don't like the idea of being implanted with any type of uh, electric device. But isn't that the direction we're going? And don't we already have some of these? Uh, 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 some people have experimented with it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just I don't and think it's healthy. These, we used under the skin tracking devices in dogs. Uh, wouldn't that be convenient if you could just, you know, plug, t touch your finger to your computer instead of that white uh, Apple cable, download all your songs, and then they would just play in your head the entire time? Or maybe even better. <laughs> By the way, people who are mentally ill already basically have, they don't even need the iPad implanted in their head. They're already hearing the songs and all sorts of stuff going on. And then you could just basically plug in a set of headphones uh, to your wrist and then, uh, you know, you just hear, you hear your music. It sounds like it would be great. So you would do it? No. Okay. <laughs> I guess that answers that. But aren't we going in the direction of mixing uh, human and machine? Probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you can already get uh, artificial heart parts, is it really that different than having an iPod implanted in your body? Well, the difference is one of them keeps you alive. Right. So you don't really have a choice. Either you get this implant or you die. Some people really depend on listening to their music. I'm not one of those people. All right. I'm not either. I wouldn't do it. 